Hello, welcome to this series of video tutorials. My name is Greg Araya and I have some professional experience creating character animation for TV series broadcast using Adobe Animate. The goal of this series of tutorials is to build this scene from scratch using only Animate. And um, in doing so, I'm going to walk you through the workflows and the methods that I used to create characters and animate them for studios. So um, with that in mind, let's take a quick look at what we're going to be dealing with. Before we begin, I want to point out that you should have some basic familiarity with the animate interface and the program itself. For example, like if you know what the timeline is and what layers are, how to set a keyframe, you should have a little bit of awareness of tweening, although we'll get into that more in depth. You should know how some of these tools work, like what the selection tool and the free transform tool do. Um, how to use the rectangle and the oval tool, uh, the eyedropper would be great, the uh, hand tool, the zoom tool, and a little bit of how to access the properties panel and what the library is. And that stuff is important because um, rather than show you how to do something like here's how to make a line with a pencil, although we'll, we will be doing that, but the goal of what I'm going to show you is not, the goal is not how to make a line with a pencil. It's a little more abstract of like, how to make a walk cycle, right? So we'll be using a lot of these tools and fundamental skills over and over again, but um, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm gonna presume you know how to at least make a shape and you know, convert it to a symbol. If that is already like beyond what you're aware of, you might wanna go and explore some of the um, other, there's a bunch of other tutorials that already exist that kind of walk through the introduction to the program and the basic workflow. Or, you know, if you fo start following along and you get lost, you can kind of pause this and go back and maybe explore a little bit of, of some of the other tools that are, I'm dealing with. But if you're new to Animate, you can go through this. But if, you know, if you've never used Animate before, this might be a little bit um, new to you. So just keep that in mind. But let me break down a little bit of what we're going to be dealing with. So uh, we're going to go through all these stages. The first thing we're going to do is build this character. And let me isolate who that is. So I've got my timeline built into... I have three main folders on my timeline and they're kind of grouped by what's in each. So my character folder has the character stuff. So if I alt or option uh, click on a layer on the eyeball, it it'll, it'll normally it makes it visible, but if you alt, it mutes everything else out. It's kind of an inverse selection. That's a handy thing. That works for all of these, by the way. I can, I can uh, unlock only one and lock all the others. And you know, the same thing for showing them or outlining, right? So anyways, uh, this is what I want to do. Here's, here's my character. It's a walk. Uh, if I double click on it, it's, it's a graphic symbol. So if I double click on it, it takes me inside of the symbol. And here's my little guy walking. Uh, my family's named him Alfonso. So uh, meet little Alfonso here. And um, this is a series of uh, symbols. That, you know, Alfonso itself is, himself is made of symbols. So for example, his head is a graphic symbol. And that has animation inside of it, right? So all this, all these layers of things happening. So we're building things up step by step. So it's not really drawing some one frame after the next. It's we're we're just uh, animating in layers in this way. So the head has motion on it. Uh, the arm swinging is doing its own thing. Uh, what's the, the body? There's some balance happening with the body here, and some masking of the vest and everything. So we'll walk through us. Like that's the first thing we're going to do is build all of these elements and then put them all together in a way that makes a character. Um, the other thing we're going to do is create this seamlessly tiling endless fence for him to walk on. And all this is is a static image that just um, gets to the end and then starts over again. You can kind of see maybe if you zoom out far enough how that works, it'll pop back to the beginning. I have I ended up having way more fence here than I needed. Um, but whenever we build this, you know, we can do it in a little more simple way. But all that is is just a, it's an illusion to make it like it just repeats forever and ever, but it's just, you know, cleverly repeats in a way that it, you can't tell right there. Okay. The other thing we're going to be dealing with is creating um, some lighting effects and some masking effects to, for example, make this uh, walking on the fence shadow effect. So all this is, there's two parts to this. And the main one is this shadow, which is really just a duplicate of the walk. It just has some uh, filter effects applied to it so that it, it's like blurred out and, and tinted down. But it's, it's still the same 
exact animation. I didn't have to recreate anything. I just duplicated uh, Alfonso's walk and flipped it. And that is uh, an element that is masked by, I have a duplicate of the fence here. And it's the exact same as the fence down here, exactly the same, just another, another instance of it. And this time it's set up as a mask. So what it does is it is, uh, it's acting like as a stencil for that shadow. And when the two of them are put together, you get that effect. And then whenever all these things are combined together, you have the foreground element of you know, little Alfonso walking on the fence. The other thing we're going to do once we have, we're going to start with that. And once we've completed this much of it, the next thing we'll do is create the background elements. And this is just uh, three static images. And you know, I can show you one by one what those are. We have the moon, which is uh, just this, like a, it's a graphic symbol. It's a single element and it has some um, filters on the symbol, a glow and a blur to make it look like it's a little further away and shining. The stars are just uh, smudges with the paintbrush tool, just gray, gray um, shapes. And then the sky is just a gradient, gradient fill on a rectangle. So all those together form this kind of background environment. So all together you get that. And then maybe the most interesting thing is this layer here called parts. And all this is, is as I built Alfonso up, I, you know, I kind of showed how he's kind of exploded out and what he's made of. So at the top, this is, um, can unlock these. This up here, the stick and the and the tail. These are shapes that are drawn with the brush tool, and I converted these to art brushes so they could be manipulated uh, and deformed in a way that they bend, sort of like a you know rubber hosey style or noodle style. So that's a thing we'll talk about. This here is just a like a yardstick that I made to measure uh, how big of a stride he's going to take so that his feet actually don't slip as he's walking along the fence and they stay um, you know locked down and track. Called, it's called a tracking lock that he um, maintains his position um, consistently as he moves. And then you, you saw this little already, the, the body and the head are all separate, the legs are separate. This down here I call it a joint gizmo. Uh, this is what I start building all the limbs with and there's a reason for why I start with this. To, it helps with alignment and positioning and making sure everything rotates nicely, perfectly. So that's what we're going to be dealing with. Uh, starting from the design and moving through step by step. There's a bunch of videos that each focus on sort of a single goal. And as you move through, what I recommend doing is uh, saving your progress at the end as a new file. Do a, a file save as, and then you can save it. You see, I have a bunch in here. You can save it like, uh, you know, you can say version three, which is, I think, uh, building a bending bending limb and then save that down and then you'll have like an incremental progress as you move forward then as you start step four you can open up what you did in step three and when you complete that you can save that down as a new file save as something new for 04 which uh, I think is building a, the body All right and then you'll have sort of a archive of your progress if you ever need to roll back and start over you don't have to start from scratch and you, you can it's a, it's a way to work cleanly and a way to work efficiently so with that in mind we can get to work and start making little alfonso here walking on the fence there let's lock it all so the mat masking works correctly there we go so when you're ready let's move on to the next one i'll see you in video number two.